Valentine's Day is one of the biggest days of the year. We know it's chock full of hearts, flowers, romantic dinners, and, well, chocolate. But what else is there to know about this beloved holiday? There are a whole lot more numbers behind this annual tradition than just the 14. We show our love for each other in a lot of different ways come Valentine's Day, but more often than not, we show that love by breaking open our piggy banks. In 2018, it's believed that Cupid's favorite day generated over $19 billion. We know that not all of that was spent on just sweets for our sweets, though. So where did all of that come from? Well, for starters, a good bit of that does happen to be fueled by our sweet tooths. Americans spent an average of $1.7 billion on candy each year for Valentine's Day. That includes 36 million heart-shaped boxes of chocolate, which all add up to a staggering 58 million pounds worth of chocolate. A fact that must make all of our dentists absolutely head over heels this time of year. According to the National Chocolate Association, an association that we would all very much like to be a part of, caramel-filled chocolates are the most popular in the box, followed closely behind by chocolate-covered nuts. It's not quite Valentine's Day either without professing your love via everyone's favorite holiday staple, conversation hearts. Every box is packed full of up to 45 unique sayings to help you find just the right words for your special Valentine. Every year, more than 8 billion of these colorful hearts are manufactured, and production must start just days after Valentine's Day in order to make enough in time. They make almost 100,000 pounds of these chalky delights every single day. Don't worry if you happen to have last year's box lying around, because these words have staying power. They have an average shelf life of five years. But you may just want to toss that old box as around 10 new phrases are added each season to add to your candy pickup line arsenal. We don't just measure our love in grains of sugar, though. We also can't get enough of petals and stems this time of year. An estimated $2 billion will be spent on flowers for the special ones in our lives. Of the 124.6 million households who celebrate the holiday, 43 million will be giving flowers to their loved ones for Valentine's Day. Roses top the charts as the most popular flower of the day. So popular, in fact, that Americans send more than 220 million roses each and every year. It may surprise you who exactly is leading the charge in floral sales, but in 2016, it was reported that 63% of purchases came from those who were under the age of 35. And to anyone who has ever told you that you can't be your own Valentine, well, they can eat their hearts out. Because in 2015, 18% of women said they had sent themselves flowers for the big day. Flowers may be nice, but they'll eventually fade. Jewelry, on the other hand, shines for quite a bit longer. People spend around $4.7 billion on jewelry every Valentine's Day. But material goods aren't the only gifts we're looking for. In fact, according to the National Retail Federation, 40% of consumers said they would prefer an experience gift, something like a concert, an evening out on the town, or a trip somewhere new over a material gift. It may be a trend we see continue into the future as well, as 45% of people aged 18 to 24 and 40% of people aged 25 to 34 say they plan on giving the gift of an experience for Valentine's Day this year. Please don't think we forgot about our four-legged friends either. Every year, around 9 million people buy their pets a Valentine's Day gift as well. Now, no gift is complete without a heartfelt card to bring it all together. Valentine's cards got their start in the United Kingdom, but eventually made their way across the pond to the United States in the mid-1800s, when a Massachusetts-based printer named Esther Howard offered them for the first time. Hallmark eventually got in on the act in the early 1900s and left their mark on holiday history. Fast forward to today, and 150 million Valentine's Day cards are exchanged each year, second only to Christmas. After throwing all these numbers around, it's safe to say Valentine's Day adds up to be one very lovely holiday.